mosaic art is anytime you take smaller pieces of a hard material, glass, tile, stone, to create a picture or an image with those items. So anything in that description is considered a mosaic. I don't think I'm a typical artist in that you don't look in mine and go, oh, she does this one thing. That's what absolutely pulls me into mosaic is that I can go in so many different directions. But I use rusty things I find in the desert, dishes, pottery, beads, stone. The biggest thing I use is cut stained glass. The first thing I think of is what substrate am I gonna put it on? And that substrate is the bottom. What, it, where, what am I gonna create it on? We were out in the Santa Rosa Mountains in Nevada and I found this big deposit of these flat rocks and I was like, oh my gosh, these are going to be perfect for mosaics. But then I get down to my little pieces I'm nipping. So I hand nip, 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 cut, 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 cut. I'm gonna use silicone to glue those pieces down and then I'm gonna tape it off. Here you have this beautiful piece of art you've created and you're gonna take a black grout and you're gonna smother the whole thing of your beautiful piece you've created, which is a little unnerving, and then you clean and you clean and you clean and you clean. The cleaning will be toothpicks and Q-tips. You wanna get everything out so you can see every piece of glass in that piece. So it is a little crazy when you see this process when I'm doing that. But it's very meditative and it's, you know, I get some good music going and it's just, I can just get lost in what I'm doing. So it's, it's a wonderful way to relax. Cuddy has over 50 colors of glass. To get the, the shades and all of the inspiration, I actually have to mix the glass, you know, almost like a painter, where if I put two colors of glass next to each other, they will start to give the illusion of another color. And Cuddy also has seven different colors of grout. And I took the time, and you have to tape it off, grout one section, pull that off, grout the next section, tape the rest of it off. It's a really intensive process. I like that as my art has evolved, I use reclaimed materials literally in everything I do. It's not about the economics of it. I feel that the reclaimed materials I use add character to the piece. So let's say I want to make a sunflower. You know, you could put it in a simple frame and that's okay, that's okay. But to put it in a with a rusty piece of metal we found out in the desert, and then to put it on a, an old piece of barn wood just makes that sunflower so much more special. And it makes it where you can envision that sunflower near an old barn or out in a field. It's amazing the rusty things we have found in the desert. And you're like, what is this? What was this? But what I see coming from this is, you know, I can see it in my mind. I see something happening. And it's not just what people think, you don't just smash dishes and glue them onto something. Not to make it art worthy, you need to actually cut those into shapes and create things. And it makes a beautiful, colorful piece. And I think people really are like, wow, that's those were old dishes and they can see that. But I just think it's also environmentally a good thing to do. If I'm taking something that's just rusting away in the desert and why not? And that adds something in its character and I'm also just taking some garbage out of the desert and I'm making something out of it. It's amazing when you put some cut stained glass and some beads and it just turns it into this old thing you found in the desert into something very beautiful. <laughs>